webinar. Uh, oh, okay. I'm so glad y'all could be here today. Uh, and yeah, thank you for taking the time out of your day to like come here and learn more. So this will be utilizing Okay, so this is the CNM webinar, but more specifically utilizing your district assets and why are they important? So going on. Okay, well, okay so moving on. Who's that host? So you'll see that throughout this presentation, there will be like some references to Pokemon just because the CNM committee, like their theme is Pokemon. So yeah, that's where I drew inspiration from. But who's that host? So hi everyone. My name is Angelina. Um, so I go to Cal State Fullerton. I'm an incoming third year. Um, I'm currently your CNM chair, and my favorite Pokemon is Shaman. And you can see Shaman kind of like standing above my my picture. But yeah. Alrighty, moving on. Okay, so moving on to the importance of graphic standards. So it's a key in district branding. Um, so if you compare our branding to like that of other districts like that are not CNH, you'll notice that CNH has pretty specific branding and if not is like one of the most extensive because um, our graphic standards not only cover uh, like presentations or like newsletters, it also covers videos and graphics like those 19 or those 1080 by 1920 graphics like those Facebook cover photos. And then it's also important in being consistent. Um, so you can express your un like the unity of the district throughout the club division and district levels. So when people can see like an event page or like a cover photo, like that has the whole masthead Circle K International uh, CNH district, they'll know it's from CNH. And then you can also, it's also important to get recognized by like external organizations from these like assets that we put out. So let's say, I like just an outside organization really looks at one of our videos and it's like, mm, where, where did this video come from? It's not, they don't have to like dive into the video really, or they don't have to like dive into research about it. They can just like check the logo at the bottom left corner, or they can also like watch to the outro, um, which is like, yeah, watch to the outro where it shows the whole logo and yeah. So those are like the main importance of the graphic standards. There are more, but that's just the main ones I wanted to discuss. And then moving on. So the different graphic assets we have. So these can all be found in the district style guide as well as the um, graphic standard assets folder, which I'll be showing you where, um, where you can find them later on. Um, but this is just, um, like exposing you to what I'm going to be talking about um, throughout this webinar. So this is the district masthead. Um, I don't know if you can see my mouse. I don't think so. Um, but the first one is the district masthead. So you'll see it includes the CKI Circle K International, like the words. And then on the right side, it has the emblem. And then on the bottom, Fun fact, there's 16 um, stripes at the bottom um, for aesthetic purposes, um, so yeah. And then moving on to the CNA Circle K logo. Um, so that's actually, um, it's, it's the seal. It's not the logo, but it's like the seal. Um, so yeah, that's the official one. And then for the divisional logos, these were all um, curated by the 2019-2020 um, Communications and Marketing Committee. Uh, they worked on rebranding, and this is the results of all their of, of all their labor. Um, so yeah, um, a lot of credit goes to them for like building this foundation. Um, so yeah, these are the divisional logos. Um, you can see the different divisions um, as well as like the colors that are associated um, for the most part uh, with the divisions. Then going on to the presentation track presentation stripes. So you'll see the presentation stripes kind of, um, well, um, you'll see it on this presentation um, as well as more. Um, most likely you'll see them at like the workshops upcoming um, or any like up or any other webinars um, for if they want to uphold the graphic standards then they would need to have those presentation stripes. 
And then moving on to the district emblem. So as you can see, it's part of, it's one of the things we use for the masthead and it's also used in like other uh, media. So yeah, just taking to, just taking to know all of those assets and then we'll be going on how, on how to utilize them. Alrighty. Okay, so graphic standards 101. So graphics. So the asset you'll be using when creating graphics are the district masthead. So as I said before, this does include the CKI Circle K International Words, and then it also includes um, the emblem. And then at the bottom, it does include those 16 stripes as well. So this is an example um, from the CNA CKI Decon Awards. Um, you can see how so as a location, uh, the masthead is at the very bottom of the graphic at the, I believe it should, it should be at the edge um, and notes for the graphic um, that all parts of the masthead must be visible and not be obstructed. So let's say you have um, a presentation that kind of blends in, like the background kind of blends in with the stripes. Um, unfortunately, that wouldn't be meeting the graphic standards uh, because the stripes like do have to be visible. Um, but yeah, that's just one thing to note down. And then just for um, just for like future references, um, so common dimension sizes are 1920 by 1080. So usually that would be for like Facebook, um, like event photos or Facebook like landscape photos, I guess. Um, 1080 by 1080 would usually be an Instagram post, like a square. And then 900 by 400, that would be a Discord post. Yeah, that would be a post for, an, for a Discord um, event page. But yeah, okay. And then, so this, I'll just be showing you on um, where to find these like district mastheads. So um, I'll go on like where to find these folders um, later on, but just for now, you can just know that you can find these through the website. And so for the CNA Circle K uh, graphic standards assets, so if you go to the folder, you can see a lot of media that are available um, that need like their particular assets. Um, so you'll want to go to district masthead slash stripes. And then you'll also want to go to graphics. Um, but yeah, you can see how those are like available if you're doing a presentation, a newsletter, or even a document. Um, but yeah, you want to press on graphics. And then um, you also want to choose the color you, um, the color that you want to use. So there are the district colors. Um, I'll go, there's like specific shades that they do have to be for it to be a district color, such as their color code. Um, but yeah, there's yellow, white, red, orange, olive green all that good stuff. And then if you are someone who does use like Adobe Illustrator, then those um, those files, if you want to edit, are also available for you to use as well. All right. Okay, I'm just making sure I didn't miss a slide. Okay. And so how to know if a graphics, if a graphic follows the graphic standards. So it must have 16 stripes, the CNA Sickle K emblem, and just the words CKI, Sickle K International. Um, so sometimes um, sometimes you'll see graphics, or sometimes I'll see graphics with just a little too many stripes. And so I'll be like, mm, do I really want to count them? So then I count, and then it ends up being like 18. And then I have to notify that they do have to like repost. Um, but yeah something to make sure and keep a note of and um, just to make sure that you do not change the colors of the stripes or the logo or anything uh, making sure it's in its original form okay and then moving on to district fonts um, so these are just the district fonts that the district recommends mm. you'll see that in like a lot of um, documents that Century Gothic is used, um, as well as these other fonts listed here. So Myriad Pro, um, Century Gothic, Archer Light, Garamond. Um, and although these fonts are recommended, as it says on the bottom, um, feel free to go ahead and just um, like be creative with the fonts you want to use. Um, this is just um, like a suggestion if you're like if you can't like find any fonts you do want to use, um, go ahead and like feel free to. 
make your graphics stand out, make it look pretty with some fonts. Okay, and then going on to the district colors. So um, as I did say before, there's black, blue, green. Um, I might mispronounce Cian, I probably said that wrong, but orange, gray, red, light, blue, olive, and yellow. And those are the, there are the color codes right there. Um, so as you can see, there are like different, there are particular shades um, because it is, it is the ones used in the logo. Okay, and then moving on. So these are just some examples um, of some graphics that do follow those graphic standards and are really um, exemplary, like, Examples. So here you can see um, the CNA Circle K uh, like masthead on this uh, on the webinar graphic. Um, you can see how it's not obstructed. Um, everything is very visible. Yeah, shout out to Aaron for that. And then you can see uh, one of uh, my home club's meeting graphics. Um, so this was uh, Cat Lou. Caitlin Liu, she is the one who made this graphic. Awesome, awesome. Um, but yeah, um, very artsy. But yeah, you can see how it's pretty clearly seen. Um, that's, those are those examples. Um, okay, and then moving on. So moving on to videos. So this is where it kind of you kind of need some editing like software or not necessarily software, just like some knowledge if you're going to be inputting, if you want to make sure those videos are up to graphic standards. So the assets you'll be wanting to use are the logo and the CNH outro. So I'll play out um, in the example, I'll show you what these look like, but just know that um, while you're looking at it, Nick, take note of the location um, and where the outro is. And just some notes. Oh, the video started playing. Okay, just some notes. Um, so if you can see the logo on the example, um, these are the um oh no, these are kind of like the like the numbers to put in when um putting in the logo when putting it at the corner or at the position. So yeah, um you can see the position is all that, uh, the scale, opacity. And then uh, this is just an example of what to look out for. So I'll just play it just for, as an example. The audio, I don't think I shared my audio, um, but that's okay. That's just the, um, the visuals we do see. So yeah, you can see the logo. It's, at, it's not totally transparent, but it's not totally like full either. So it's at 13% opacity. And then um, moving on to, Please. Moving on to the outro. Yeah, so the outro is seven seconds and you do have to have it at the end of your videos um, to make sure it does uphold those graphic standards. Um, yeah, so if you're making like any video, it does have to have the logo and the CNH outro. Okay, and moving on. So presentation. So you can kind of use this um, webinar as like a, as an example. So the asset you do use um, for like presentations is having the masthead stripes. The, sorry, not the masthead stripes. The masthead at the front. Um, so I can go back to the front. I'll go back actually right now. So yeah, I put the masthead at the front, and then you can see that the presentation stripes have been. Um, kind of blended in throughout this whole presentation. So yeah, um, so the location for these things would just be at the very bottom. And then some notes to take into consideration is that all parts of the masthead must be visible and not obstructed. Um, so yeah, so just making sure nothing like overlaps. But yeah. Okay, and just um, as like another example, so this was another webinar um, that was done by Brennan. Um, he was the external relations chair, past terms. I am forgetting the year, but yeah, you can see the last edit was made on August 28, 2019. But yeah, so you can see how um, the mass said in the beginning isn't obstructed. It's very visibly seen and then they kind of, um, I guess, something to note or something if you want to use 
Um, you can make, you can choose the color of the stripes that are available that are available and then have it like match the aesthetic you want. So I guess the color scheme they were going for in this webinar was pink and white. Um, so they chose the white master stripes or the white presentation stripes, which is totally fine. So yeah, that's just another example besides this one. And then moving on. Okay, so moving on to websites. So there are graphic standards if your um, club or like if if you are planning on building a, a club website, yeah, that's the, that's the easiest example I can think of from the top of my head. But yeah, so the asset you, you will be utilizing for the website, um, it is the masthead and the location would be at the very top. And then another note is just all parts of the masthead must be visible and not obstructed. And yeah, that's just an example of the CNA Circle K website. Okay, I think this one's pretty like self-explanatory, so I won't get like more into detail. Uh, just you can see here, but yeah, okay. And moving on to the newsletter. Okay, so this is um, from the Sunburst. I know I'm not sure of many clubs that do a newsletter, but this is just if you were planning on doing it. So the asset you do utilize are the masthead and the newsletter stripes. Okay, so. The mass set will most likely always go at the bottom just for just to put it out there, except if it's a document or um, a website. I forgot to put documents on here, but um, just if you wanted to know that if you are having like a Circle K document, then the masthead must be as a header. But yeah, that's just something to note. Um, and then the other asset would be the newsletter stripes. And so the location for the mass at the bottom and then the newsletter stripes would be at the very back at the like back cover and then some notes as always mass head must not be obstructed but um so for the stripes this is where it does get a little bit more lenient um so you can um adjust the like height of the of the stripes as you need um, but it must remain in like the rest same relative location and then you do also need to include um I did not put it on here, um, but just know that you do need to have the SLP logo, like that Kiwanis um, Service Leadership Program. You do need to have that on the back as well. Um, yeah. And then the example would just be the Sunburst. So yeah, that's just for newsletters. Okay. And so where to find these resources? Okay, so you can go ahead and find these resources through the um, communications and marketing subcategory of resources on the CNA Circle K website. So where exactly is this? Well, I screen recorded a video and I'm gonna walk you through it right now. All righty. So here, here I am looking up CNA Circle K. It does take me a while, okay. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, you want to press on the three top, mm, it's like three lines, and then you want to press resources. And then uh, on the phone, I had to scroll down, uh, but on the browser, I believe you don't. Um, you just have to find communications and marketing. And then you'll be brought to this page. And then um, if you see the CNH district style guide, um, it'll basically reiterate like everything um, I said here, um, but just in a more like illustrated version. And then there's also the graphic standard assets. Um, so if you're like, um, if you like have a PR position in any of your like clubs, then I would recommend kind of favoriting that folder if you're like a publications person or like a historian because you will be like utilizing those assets uh, quite like more frequently than most. Um, but yeah, and then there is the graphic request form. Um, I do need to update the link, um, but there is a graphic request form available if your club does not like have any of the resources to um, for, like create a t-shirt design or any of those, um, the CNM committee will happily do so. But yeah, so that's just, where you can find those resources. Okay, and yeah, so I just pressed on the CNH district style guide and that's where it brought me. And then I do a lot of dramatic zooms. Okay, 
But yeah, so moving on. Oh, okay. And then you might be wondering, who else can help me? So besides me, um, I have an amazing committee full of awesome, talented, hardworking people um, who will not hesitate to answer any of the questions you might have. Um, so yeah, this is just like the committee graphic um, that Jacqueline made. Um, so yeah, those are the names of my committee members. Um, if you like, if you're wondering on anything um, that maybe I can't answer, um, then I'd recommend like reaching out to any of these people. But yeah. Do, 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 do. And yeah, that was actually all I had. Um, so yeah, I'd like to thank you all for coming out once again. Um, and I have my contact info if you do have any questions. Um, but I can also take questions right now if you have any. Uh, Austin, oh. Yes, I saw Austin, you raised your hand. Oh yeah, I have some questions. I have a multiple questions. Um, okay. Yeah, so uh, you said earlier about um, when you're talking about graphic standards when it came to documents that the mm -hmm. masthead must be on like the header of a document. Mm -hmm. um, for multiple page documents, should the masthead be on, like on the top of every single page? or just Yes, uh, for every single page. Oh, Oh yeah, and um, also I was um, wondering, are you um, are you still recruiting for committee members for your CNM committee? Ooh, unfortunately, I am not. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not. My committee is full. Oh okay, and um, my last question for now is: I was wondering if you have like any like content suggestions or ideas. Um, that like clubs can use in regards to like um, membership recruitment and retention? Oh, okay, for sure. Um, so I guess I can use a little bit of social media like coordinator experience when answering this, but really just like remaining active on your social media is really important um, because when people are coming into like college, they want to be part of something and they're looking to be part of something and they want to be part of something that's active and just making sure that your social media is active is like the best way for them to kind of know that oh these this organization is doing stuff maybe I should come out so yeah I think just being active on like your social medias um like even if it's not like daily it can even maybe like weekly or like bi-weekly um, but yeah, just like posting something on like your Instagram story would be helpful. Um, but cause I just know like a lot of people you do use, um, like Instagram personally I do. Um, but yeah, I saw there was a question from Dave. Yeah, I have a good question. Are there any special projects that CNM are doing that you might want to share with us? Oh, okay. Um, so some like, uh, different things that um, we are working on. So one is like we're working on creating like kind of a district recruitment video, um, which is kind of like a club video, but for the district, like let's say a club doesn't necessarily have the resources to like create one themselves. Um, they can go ahead and use the district one that we will be making and hope to have done by fall. Um, and this would just be used compiling a bunch of different like district footage and from like different divisions. But yeah, and then some other projects that we're working on are also creating like divisional backdrops. So let's say, um, let's say there's a division that's kind of like, oh, what kind of backdrop should I use? Then, um, then the my committee is also working on like creating backdrops so they can like overlay photos over um just like for recognizing or really anything um as like a blank slate and then another one another project that we're working on is also creating a business card template so let's say you're at like a club rush and are want want to like promote circle k to like someone else or like just are encouraged want to encourage them to like donate then you can go ahead if they want to see like oh are you legit then instead of like you can also show your circle k international like card the physical card um but also something i'm hoping to produce is a business card and this is just like have the cnh logo uh, my graphic designers are working on it um but yeah i think those are be some like cool resources to like help 
further like push that professional development aspect of Circle K. But yeah. And the business card I think is amazing because that that uh, everybody wants to have something when they walk away from a meeting, right? And if mm -hmm. something's written on that card about the next meeting or a meeting location, um, you're going to more likely get people to return. So that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Matthew, I saw you had a question. Yeah, I did. Uh, so first of all, I like to say I love the presentation theme. Thank the you. Pokemon. Really cute. Um, but also my question was regarding the um, accessing the assets. So uh -huh. uh, when I try to click on the link on the website, um, uh -huh. I asked for a request to access it. <gasps> OK, let me go ahead and update that right now. Thank you for bringing that up. OK. And another 